Okay, so today we're going to talk about myofascial release for the scapulothoracic articulation. Um, and while we're talking about that, we'll also talk about scapular motions. So uh, I'm going to be performing a technique treating uh, your shoulder blade back here uh, on your left side. And uh, I'm going to be kind of moving things around uh, a bit. And um, you let me know if it's any tenderness or pain or anything like that. Are you, you okay with me uh, proceeding? Yes. Okay, great. So go ahead and lie down on your left side. Good, perfect. So actually I'm going to be treating the right uh, scapula. And um, that's great. Uh, we have your arm or your hand under your head here. And I'd like you to scoot towards me, towards the edge here. Good. And just bend your knees a little bit more just so you're a little bit more stable. Perfect. Um, so now I'm going to have my arm kind of uh, interwoven here and you're going to just rest your arm on my arm. And my positioning here is going to have a goal of um, stabilizing the scapula and allowing me to uh, induce uh, all of our, my motions securely. So uh, making my contact now, I'm at the inferior angle of the scapula and at the superior medial angle of the scapula, and then kind of across the top of the scapula where the spine is um, out into the acromion. So now with this contact, I'm not just kind of like uh, floating on top of the whole thing. I'm trying to actually make contact with the scapula. And then from here, I can induce the different motions of the scapula. So I can induce depression, elevation, protraction, retraction, upward rotation and downward rotation. Uh, and in each of those range of motions, I want to evaluate for uh, any freedom of motion or barrier of motion. So evaluating again. So I feel when I try to depress the scapula, there's more restriction. When I try to protract the scapula, there's more restriction. And with down, downward rotation, there's more restriction. So following myofascial release principles, I can choose to treat this either indirectly or directly. And in this case, I'm going to treat this directly. So I'm going to uh, depress the scapula, protract the scapula, and rotate it downwards to engage all of my barriers. And once I've done that, I'm going to hold this scapula, maintain contact. And I also want to make sure that while I'm doing this, I'm comfortable, my patient's comfortable. Is there any, anything that's uh, tender or hurts you or uncomfortable? OK, yeah. good. And I'm going to be waiting up to two minutes. And what I'm looking for is any indication of tissue texture change, um, change in the tension that I'm holding under my hands. And now at this point, I'm starting to feel some change in the tissue texture under my fingers and as well the tension that I was holding to maintain it at the restricted barrier is softening a bit. I'm going to keep my tension there. I also feel a little bit of pulsation under my fingers as the tissue texture um, continues to change and circulation uh, improves in the area. And I feel that change is completed. So now I'm going to return back to neutral and then retest those different ranges of motion. Depression, elevation, when depression is a bit better. Protraction versus retraction. And I do feel like protraction has improved a bit. Upward rotation versus downward rotation. And there's quite a bit more down, downward rotation uh, following treatment.